So welcome back to their episode of the best laptop setups. This is episode number 26. And before I begin, a huge shout out to Christopher E from episode number 25. You want $100, plus you get first dibs on one of the three accessories from the Razer lineup that I introduced in the last video. Now, the other two winners from the comment section, I'll be contacting shortly, so stay tuned for that. But we don't have a Razer sponsorship for this video, so it's just $100 to the winner of the best setup. But I promise to try and get more sponsorships down the road. Now, the first setup comes from Travis. He's from the United States. He's just getting into designing. I like this setup. It's not perfect. There's a few things that I tweak, but I like the ambiance. I like the colors he's using. The overall vibe is very clean and functional. Now he's using a traditional Ikea desk setup. The drawers on the bottom are Alex drawers straight from Ikea. In fact, he didn't even list out what's on his desk. So I'm taking a big guess here. And then his desk is an actual Ikea desk. The entire cost is probably like two to $300. It's not a very expensive setup, but it looks good. And that's the whole entire point. Plus with the drawers, he has tons of storage to store little knickknacks that don't clutter up the top of his desk space. Now, the laptop of choice is obviously a MacBook Pro, but it's hard to tell if it's a MacBook Pro 16 or 14. I can tell because there's an SD card slot on the right hand side, and I'm guessing it's probably a 16 inch laptop based on the look of the display, but maybe he can chime in and let us know. He does have a bigger monitor, I'm guessing 32 inches. It's a Samsung display. And then he has an iPad right below it. The only thing I don't like about this desk setup is his lights. Like he has a light all the way to the left hand side, which looks like in a little trash can case. And then he has another one on the right hand side. I just feel like it's not needed. The second setup comes from Luca. He's 25 years old. He lives in the capital of Brazil, which is Brasilia. He's been working on this setup for the past three years. He says he uses it mostly for work as a senator's video maker. He also does a lot of photo editing and sometimes he likes to relax and play COD on his Xbox Series X. Now I like this setup because it's multifunctional. Not only does he have a computer to do his productivity and work, he also has an Xbox for gaming, plus a massive TV that he could use to game on or just sit back, relax, and enjoy some content. Now he does have a Google Nest right in front of the display, which he says he uses to control all his lights, which happen to be Philips Hue. Now the devices on the desk are, are very simple, you know, like he has a bunch of Logitech speakers. These are light sync speakers. So they do light up with whatever colors you want or set it to. And he has this long desk. It's not a very deep desk, but it's a long desk. So it allows him to flush stuff out going left and right, as opposed to cramming everything right in front of him. Now he's using a 27 inch LG monitor. It's a 4K Ultra HD IPS display. And this obviously pairs up nicely with a MacBook Pro M1 13 inch. He does have a Logitech MX keys keyboard, a Logitech Master. Again, we see one of these things in every single video. It's the MX Master 2S. And then his monitor, or sorry, TV rather, is a Samsung 4K RU7400. Now he does have a Steel Series Arctis 3 headset that he obviously uses for gaming. And of course, Everything else just looks nice and neat. Now the third setup comes from Golem. He's a sales manager in aerospace and he says he's been improving his setup over the last few years. I personally just love the look of this room. Like this room looks awesome because he has some white walls on the right hand side, then a door on the left, but the rest of the room feels very industrial and that white color kind of balances it out. When you think about those panels behind the desk, the green panels, the wainscoting, it just adds this rich feel to the room. And then you have this wooden desk, which happens to be the same color as the hardwood floor. He has some black accent colors and of course some light to light up the entire space to make it feel like a place you'd want to work at throughout the entire night. Now he is using a standing desk. It's from Vivo and he does have a big Ikea Carl B 74 inch tabletop. That's actually a dining room table, not an actual regular table for a computer room, but it just gives you a lot of space and the quality of it is significantly better. Now he does have one Alex drawer on the right hand side and he does hide an Xbox Series X inside of it. His wife does not like gaming, so he's hiding it in there so she doesn't have to see it. I will say though, I would have loved to see the drawer underneath the desk. I feel like it's out of place on the right hand side and putting it underneath would just look a bit cleaner. I do like the plant. I think putting plants as your wallpaper on the screen is overdoing it just because you have so much green in your room. I need to tone it down a bit, but I do love those Klipsch speakers. Now, just like the other dude in the previous video, he's also using an MX Master 2S mouse with MX Keys keyboard. And then of course his wrist rest is from Grovemade and his desk pad also happens to be from Grovemade. 
I do want to take uh, some consideration here because I am loving the way he has his laptop hooked up. It's hanging underneath the desk, which I think is genius. It's out of the way. He's found some sort of chains to hold it up. So that means the fans don't get blocked. So the thermals are always going to be fine. And his cable management is just absolutely awesome. Now the four setup is very minimalistic. It's not my style. It's a bit too minimalistic. Like there's just not a lot going on here. It's basically his computer, his monitor, his mouse and keyboard. I mean, I will give him credit for cable management. Like he did a very good job on that. But I think the main reason why I'm including it in this video is because there's a picture of his cat and he knows how much I happen to love cats. But I would have loved to see you on this desk. Okay, that sounded weird. I'd love to see stuff that represents you, like little knickknacks, like to warm it up, to make it feel like, I don't know, it's your space. Right now, it just feels like you're in a library, there's nothing there, you sit down, you do your work, and you get out of there as fast as possible. Fifth setup comes from David. He's from Brazil as well. And look, I love the look of this. I wish you sent more pictures because I'm stuck with just one, but I like the way you designed your desk. Everything is nice and clean, a little cluttered here and there, but overall, it's a very organized setup. He's obviously using a Mac Studio on the left-hand side, but he also happens to have a MacBook Pro 16 on the right-hand side. He goes back and forth between either device, and he probably takes his MacBook Pro when he leaves the house. Now, he has this all connected to a massive 40-inch Dell monitor. And as you can see on the left and right hand side, he has a couple of Elgato key lights to give him some light when he's obviously streaming or performing or doing a video conference. Now his microphone is an Elgato Wave 3, which is a great USB microphone. And then for his webcam, he's using a Logitech Brio 4K. Now for his standing desk, it's a 70 inch length from Autonomous. And the chair happens to be a Herman Miller Mira 2, a fantastic chair, especially if you really care about your posture. And the final setup comes from Charles, and this is his desert setup. And I love the look of this. Like when I look at these pictures, it makes me feel like I'm in Arizona or even Mexico. And the whole design scheme of it just looks really, really good. The cool thing though, is he took some restored barn door and made it as his desktop. Then he took these lockers that he also restored and used them as the base of his desk. And I think it just looks absolutely rustic. Now he does have a lot of uh, brown and earthy tones in this room, but he does have some white walls to offset the colors. And I think it gives it a good contrast. He's using an Asus ROG M16, the 2021 model, as his main laptop. Very good for productivity and obviously for gaming. And I love the fact that he has it on a laptop arm and he has the height of it matching the height of his monitor. His monitor is from Gigabyte, I'm guessing it's uh, QHD but it, it looks good beside each other. And then he has all the cables wrapped around the back so you can't see them flow onto the desk. The bottom of the desk actually has really good cable management. Like he did a great job of keeping everything nice and tidy. In fact, his Thunderbolt dock is under there as well so you don't see it on the desk. It's a CalDigit TS3+. Plus. You've seen this on my channel before. It's a great dock to use. His mouse pad is from SteelSeries. It's a little bit big, like compared to everything else he has on there, but it gives him a lot of space to move his mouse around, especially if he loves to game. He has a Logitech G305, another great choice, especially if you travel a lot, you can just like chuck it in your bag with your laptop and then head out the door. His speakers are the Bose Companion 2 series, and then his headset is the HyperX Cloud too. I love the little plants he has on his desk. I love the Edison bulb. I love the little radio he has there. I love all the little knickknacks he has in his room. It just really makes it personalized and that's a great thing to see. So that wraps up episode number 26. I'll be choosing the winner in the beginning of the next best laptop setup video. If you want to enter your laptop setup, make sure to follow the instructions down below. I will be picking entries that have good pictures, good lighting, and of course, 16 by nine photos. Stop sending me vertical photos for the series. It doesn't look good when you're watching it. So keep that in mind when you're taking these pictures. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.